Hello, I'm going to be doing the synthesis of diazepam. Diazepam is for anxiety. Its compound name is 2H14-benzodiazepine, 2,1,7-chloro-1,3-dihydro-1-methyl-5-phenyl with a molecular formula of c 16 h 13 CLN2O. The molecular weight is 284.74 grams per mole. Here is some background information. In 1954, Leo Sternbach had to create a safer alternative to barbiturates. For years, he tried to create new compounds, but none of them were effective in any animal testing. In 1956, he chemically modified one of the compounds to make it more stable. However, it was placed on a shelf and it was forgotten. It wasn't found until a year later in a lab cleanup and he sent it for testing for drug activity. The tests luckily showed exactly what he's been looking for for the past three years. In 1960, Hoffman LaRoche made it available to the public. Diazepam quickly became one of the top selling drugs of all time, despite not knowing its mechanism. Diazepam is used for short term treatment of anxiety, panic attacks, and sleeping problems. It also relieves muscle spasms, manages symptoms of alcohol withdrawal, and it is used for controlling seizures. Diazepam is only used for short term because you can develop a tolerance to the effects. Some side effects are feeling sleepy, dizzy, confused, and less alert. Diazepam can cause drowsiness and can be addictive. Now here's how it works. Diazepam increases the neurotransmitters called GABA. GABA acts as a natural nerve calming agent and helps keep nerve activity in the brain balanced. Diazepam increases these calming nerves. Diazepam relieves anxiety and agitation. It also decreases the time it takes to fall asleep and the number of times you wake up in the night. For muscle spasms, it relaxes them. Diazepam helps to calm the excessive electrical nerve activity, causing seizures. Some facts about diazepam is one of the drugs that is similar to it is Xanax. Um, depending on the pharmacy, the cost of diazepam today is about $40 for 5 milligrams per milliliter which is the injectable solution. Due to the short-term relief, diazepam can only be used for a small period of time. So it is advised that the drug is not used longer than four months unless told otherwise by the doctor. Side effects can be worse if they are taken with alcohol and other drugs similar to diazepam. A random product to avoid with diazepam is grapefruit and grapefruit products. This is because they can cause unwanted side effects. There are so many different ways to get the synthesis for diazepam from going from one step to six steps. I focused my presentation on one paper that did the synthesis in five steps. The starting compound is 5-chloro-N-methylacetoic anhydride. The first thing done is to use triphylamine to convert glycine into an anion by making this amino group the primary amine. The 5-chloro-N-methylacetoic anhydride reacts with the glycine using the remaining triphylamine as the base to create 7 chloro 3 4 dihydro 1 methyl 4 H 1 4 benzodiazepine 2 5 dione. 
This will be referenced as compound one. In step two, acetic anhydride reacts with compound one to add a ketone to the secondary amine. This is done to create 4-acetyl, 7-chloral, 3-4-dihydro, 1-methyl, 1-H, 1-4-benzodiazepine, 2-5-dione. This will be compound 2. Moving into step 3, we have phenyl magnesium chloride acting as a Grignard reagent, and it attacks the wanted site at the 85% yield and attaches to the 4-acetyl derivative compound 2. However, they found that the Grignard reagent had a 9-12% to 12 yield of an unwanted intermediate reacting with an N-acetyl group. This forms 2-acetylamino, N-2-benzyl, 4-chlorophenyl, N-methylesamide. This is compound 3. In part four, hydroxylamide hydrochloride is used as a reagent to treat compound three in pyridine to deacylation and produce the oxime of the deacetyl compound four. This is all done in high yields. The final step to creating diazepam is the deacetyl compound is separated from other components of the reaction mixture by adding in a dilute acid. Diazepam is produced by the action of aqueous alcoholic sodium bisulfate. Some final information is the overall yield for this synthesis was about 50 to 51%. The product was a bit off color, but it was good quality and did not need any more purification. The whole process is done from 5-chloro-N-methylacetoic anhydride to diazepam without the need for extra purification of any of the intermediates. So that is going to be the end of my presentation. Thank you for watching.